Oh, again, whiskey friends. All right. All types of wrong right now. This is Ohio. It's November. It is sunset. I am in short sleeves. Outside drinking. Doesn't sound right. What sounds really right is let's open up a new bottle here. We got the Two Times Oak by Dixon Deadman, the Phoenix Blend, new release. Even got like a sign bottle here. We'll get into that in just a second. So let's kick off the show, crack open this bottle right here. Stick around. For this tasting, we're going to go with a ADHD Whiskey Glen here. Cheers, Matt. Using this one for a particular reason. I'm going to get this poured, and then we'll get into the bottle. All right, perfect. So this is the new release from Dixon Deadman. Now that he is no longer with Kentucky Owl, he's now controlling his own fate with the new brand, Two Times Oak. Now, I don't know a whole bunch about the stats on this one as far as the what's in here, the ages or whatnot, but I, I do know Kentucky straight bourbon. So we're looking at Kentucky. And then it says here, the Phoenix, the Phoenix blend is the first release an ongoing blender series from my new line 2XO, two times oak. Each release is unique, created by blending select stocks of my finest barrels and crafted using my double barreling process. So we got a double barrel process. That's the two times oak. So I interpret from that that this is going to be a batch process and they're probably all going to have different names. Maybe they'll even have different logos. It's a pretty sexy bottle, though. I'll give them that. That's a pretty sexy logo to start off with. And I got a signed copy here. Didn't get to see him in person, but they had some extra ones at the party source because uh, he did a signing there earlier in the week that I wasn't able to attend. So I was happy, though, to be able to pick this up today and get a signed one regardless. Now, Dixon Deadman, the reason that I'll use the ADHD, you know, they did a blending thing back in ADHD's first first year called uh, Beagle Rare. And the bottle went around everywhere. People are adding to it. And Dixon did the final blend of it. And I actually got to taste the original and uh, Dixon's version of it. And I actually put a review up on Distiller. So that's an official release somewhere in the world of the internet all right well let's get into this we're gonna go into the nose the taste the finish pretty excited all right cheers whiskey friends lovely nose right off the bat Ooh, really strong mm, I'm, I'm getting excited for this taste Man, lots of charred marshmallow on this one. Fits the season pretty well. Yeah, graham cracker, chocolate, charred marshmallow. Definitely getting the s'mores vibe. Bit of honey, too. Hmm. Starting to get to some fruits. Um, should I go apple to start? Honey and apple. Man, spicy too. Pepper, clove. It's hitting a lot of notes. Strong nose on that one. Now this is a 104 proof as we go into the taste. Excited to get back to the uh, mid palate and finish on this one. You do one more sip before we talk about the front of it.
All right. Flavorful, very inviting, with a solid mid palate to finish. Finish is really good. I'm still just going to sit here and enjoy it for a second. Uh, up front, it really does match the nose. Um, up front, I'll do one more time. Mm hmm. Yeah, up front, that toasted marshmallow note, that honey's coming through, but not overly sweet. Where this thing really starts to shine, though, is the second half of mid palate, and then straight into the finish. Gosh, it's really, it's good for a double oak, double barreled whiskey. I'm trying to think of even a comparison point on it, but it's got a lot of rich flavor here. Yeah, mid palate things escalate, more honey, lots of vanilla. Toasted marshmallow again, graham cracker. Gets spicier on the finish. A little darker, chocolate emerges a bit more. And it lingers. Man, tell you what, for 104, this is an oily, oily bugger. I didn't look at the glass before, but now after experiencing that finish, it's like, man, how oily is this thing to be doing what it's doing? Look at that. Mm. We were getting a whole bunch of fruits on this sip. Mm. Not cherry. Gosh, grape? Even getting some root beer notes now. Oh yeah, root beer on the finish. Oh, this is a really fun double barrel. Gosh. I'm trying to think of what I would compare it to. You know, I recently just did a thing on Instagram about my top five favorite double oaks, but I didn't have this at the time. And Matt was asking me if I tried it yet. And now I'm like, man, I, I think it might have snuck into the list. It's just really strong and inviting. I think what I'm actually going to enjoy about this one is I'm... It's, I can almost introduce it to like people that aren't really into whiskey. I think I could give them this and I think it would resonate really well. Like this is a bottle that probably goes well for newbies as it does, you know, obsessed people like me. Um, I'm pretty impressed by this thing. Good job. Good job, Dixon. Okay. Might be getting a little banana there. I don't know if that is a marker for the source or not. It's there's a little bit of nuttiness on it, but you know, it's not that the the nuttiness and the double barrel part might be conflating each other. So hmm. Doesn't come across as um being young or having that finishing that would be hiding anything. I mean it's just really strong guys I like it mm. this is like a perfect first sip to start to start the day after a hard day's work lots more vanilla on that one the fruits keep coming through more and more too I want to pour another glass of this so that is always a good compliment right there uh, if I want to pour a second glass after getting through the first there. Uh, very good. This was $100. So I'd go check it out. I'm going to recommend, if you like a double barrel product specifically to check this one out. It's going to fit the profile you expect, but... I think the, hmm, that would be an interesting comparison. I don't have any right now. I don't have any 1910 to compare it to. But maybe a, that'd be something I'd want to compare it to. Kind of with the, the flavor profile and the closest comparison. But for now, we'll keep it as it is. 
very good job, Dixon Deadman, launching a new brand. Good luck with this one, buddy. Hope for the best. Well, until next time, thanks for joining. Goodbye, whiskey friends. <laughs>